Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 3rd, 2021. So yesterday, those bulls really engaged cranking things up yesterday, but unfortunately, we left behind some questions still um, in regards to um, trend and price resistance. But the earnings overnight or after the bell yesterday from Google and Amazon actually have the QQQ poised for a possible breakout and a possible new record high. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. Well, we had quite a day yesterday with those bulls all kinds of fired up, but unfortunately we left behind some questions still in the chart. And as we talked about um, yesterday, um, we still have the question here in the Dow, can we actually break back through um, this downtrend um, or this uptrend break as a resistance level. And you can see we ran up there and tested and we ran into the price resistance in that chart and we ended up pulling back just slightly yesterday. And as you can see right at the moment, Dow futures are pointing to just a little bit of a flat. Um, we've been bouncing around between positive and negative results this morning on the future. So just a little bit flat this morning. It'll be interesting to see how we deal with this resistance level in the chart. Now that being said, we had a successful test of the 50 day moving average. So we hit that 50 day moving average, crossed down through it and now have rallied back. But honestly, this is right at the place where we could see if we get any kind of ugliness and data or something along the way, this is where we would really expect to see bears lined up to defend this area. It's gonna be an interesting day to see how we push on through. We had that good um, earnings data, um, but we did have a little bit of a mix in that data as well. So kind of an interesting setup for the day um, I expect the price action, I expect the price action to remain quite volatile um, as we progress into uh, the rest of this week with a lot of jobs data coming our way. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY did just a little bit better, but depending on how you draw this trend line, and I've been, I've been drawing this trend line right up through here, and you can see I'm trying to get as many touches to that trend line as possible. Notice that we ran up there and we hit that hit that downtrend break, and or excuse me, uptrend break, and we got a little bit stuck there by the end of the day, um, running into a little bit of a challenge. And you can see right in here, we have that price resistance of those highs that's still challenging uh, the SPY. They made a major effort yesterday, but we still run that risk that we could get a defense by the bears here. So watch that closely. Today you can see we've got this, this little bit of softness showing up, even though the ES is trying to push through to a higher open this morning. That's gonna be kind of interesting and I suppose um, we'll be reacting to that ADP number this morning. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So keep a close eye on it. Although um, the bulls have done a really good job of fighting back and defending, we still have that little bit of a challenge here that we're going to have to get through. That little bit of question mark, will there be bears? Will, the, will those bears give up? Or are they gonna be feisty enough to fight back right here? Um, that's still in question. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the QQQ, with Google zooming this morning and um, Amazon just relatively, uh, well, a little bit higher, but not getting um, all excited here this morning. We have the QQQ actually set for that possibility, poised for that possibility to challenge or break out to a new record high this morning. Now, this becomes the question, if diamonds and SPY struggle at price resistance and start to pull back, um, is it possible that this could begin to look like a double top high 
uh, if those bears um, re-engage here. So we'll want to watch that closely and see that we actually get enough bullish follow through to push this on through. And let's keep in mind that these indexes are still very, very extended overall. So watch that closely. It could be an interesting battle today on the NASDAQ, but there it is. We have that possibility of um, new record highs coming in to the queues. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, um, interestingly enough, we had um, a little bit of a rough day in um, the energy sector yesterday with pullbacks in, in a lot of places after some earnings reports. But as you can see, it really didn't affect here in IWM. And one of the reasons is because we had a really big surge in some of the financials yesterday. Goldman um, was one of the top performers in the Dow yesterday, albeit if we take a look at Goldman, I don't think anyone would probably uh, disagree that although we rallied strongly yesterday, this isn't exactly a great buy point for Goldman. As a matter of fact, we after breaking this downtrend, we kind of need to see some proof that we're actually going to hold a higher low in here in that chart. So watch that closely. Um, we had that big surge and that certainly helped hold IWM up. Um, now the question is, will those bears re-engage? And notice that we still are challenged. This is a pretty tight, and you could draw this. You could say, Campbell, you're you are one goofy dude um, on this support and resistance. And hey, I'll agree with you. Um, and you may disagree that that's not where you want this trend line to be placed. But the way I see this, we're still challenged um, by this trend. We need to break back through there. And unfortunately, that's really going to require a breakout to new highs to get back through there to resolve that question. So kind of keep that in mind. We still have this uh, challenge here uh, if the bears decide to re-engage for any reason that could be an interesting place to be watching for let's take a look at um, our VIX now the VIX had a good response yesterday and I got to tell you um, I'm glad to see it um, the VIX pulled back substantially yesterday, where the day before we just didn't get that big substantial pullback. So you can see, depending on how you draw this trend line, if you use the wicks, we broke down below there. If you use the bodies of the candle, we're just pushing down in here to test this uh, downturn break as support. But that being said, nice strong move in that pullback, fear dropping out. One thing I do want to point out though, is right across here, you can see there's a little bit of price support. What we don't want to see, and I've mentioned this many times over, um, I want to see if, if we are going to remain bullish, I want to see this level give back up. I want to see these prices in the VIX start breaking back down. Um, holding here at a 25 handle still gives us that risk. If those bears were to re-engage and we bounce off of this, fear could creep up in the market. So watch that closely. Now, one of the things helping some of that fear is that the big short squeeze frenzy seems to have lost a lot of steam um, yesterday with GameStop losing um, you know more than 60% of its value in one day. So. Um, markets may be calming down a little bit like that uh, on that, but I see that the Treasury Department is going to be holding a hearing, I think, today um, on this action, and it could be uh, who knows what what they'll come up with on that um, market might market might react negatively to more regulatory action and we'll have to watch that closely. So keep an eye on um, this VIX. It'll be an interesting day today, whether or not we can push down below or push back up. One thing I still wanna point out though, with a 25 handle in the VIX, um, just keep in mind, we still have quite a little volatility potential. So depending on how these news reports roll out, could see some interesting things. Um, in price action and, and that volatility still being very challenging. Let's take a look at um, T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this is one of those problems that's cropping up again. We're in an all or nothing market. Um, I, I don't think anyone would disagree that a, 
a market that zooms 600 points one day and reverses and zooms 600 points the other direction the next day is exactly a healthy market. And um, in that in that move, notice we went from this short-term oversold condition right back up here into that overbought range. So um, it's an all or nothing market. We either zoom one way or we zoom another way with tremendous emotion. So keep an eye on that as we push back up in here and we still have those bulls trying to push up a little bit higher this morning. We're running into that situation where we may be um, up here in that um, that area that is uh, kind of rarefied air. And um, we've already now proven how quickly we can move down from, from that area. So we have to be prepared. Um, the, the shine that we were never going to go down again kind of came off of this um, just this week. So watch that. If we rise up in here, we could easily see that possibility. Of those bears re-engage, pushing us back lower. That doesn't mean that we have to zoom all the way back down, but just that volatility and um, the fact that we're kind of reaching an overbought condition for the short term um, needs to be um, part of your thinking. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, T2101 um, kind of disappointed me yesterday with such a big big bullish surge yesterday. Um, it was sad to see that the overall market breadth actually declined yesterday, pulling back. Now, once again, this is a problem. Um, we see market breadth increasing and moving up on selling waves and kind of pulling back on buying waves. We we'll want to watch that pretty closely. We don't want to see, um, see those bulls really giving up here. Um, and it may be difficult that for them to push on through some of these highs if we continue to see that market breadth pulling back. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we have some uh, things on the calendar that we're going to really want to pay attention to. Um, we've got motor vehicle sales this morning. That number is already out. I actually haven't seen that number just yet. And the the one that we're going to want to pay attention to today i think is this adp report now adp has not been the number it used to be years ago uh, they miss quite a bit of time however last time they were spot on the last reading and um, we had some trouble here now adp is suggesting just a modest increase in the private payrolls so watch that closely should that disappoint or should that come in better than expected that's how the market will probably respond today. Either we'll 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 see that as a, a, a market re or a economy trying to recover, or um, economy struggling due to COVID. So watch that carefully. That will be an interesting report today. We also have at eight thirty this morning. We have a Treasury refunding announcement. Now. Uh, that's something we don't normally see in the calendar, and I'm not exactly sure how the market will respond to that. So watch that carefully. Um, could be an interesting um, report today. So keep an eye on that. We have ISM services um, index, and we have the petroleum status report. That will be critical for those oil sector stocks. If um, we continue to show declines in supplies, that may help bolster those that pulled back a little bit yesterday from some disappointing earnings. And then keep in mind, we have a parade of Fed speakers um, this afternoon. So just watch that close. And then um, notice that tomorrow we've got the jobless claims. So we got private payrolls, then jobless claims, and then employment situation. So we're going to be into the jobs data for the rest of this week and um, possible gyrations are around those numbers. So watch that closely. We're going to have a pretty big day on the earnings calendar today. Nearly 90 companies reporting earnings. If you want to see the full list of possible notables that I've pulled out, uh, today, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. Um, that'll take you back to my morning blog where I list um, out those stocks that I think are um, somewhat notable for today. So, a few of those I want to point out here this morning we've got ABBV, 
Um, we'll want to be paying attention to that. It looks like it is trying to perk up here this morning. That's the pre-market candle. But notice we've kind of struggled here in this chart, kind of holding on to this support, but breaking some support levels in the chart, kind of breaking down. Um, perhaps that earnings number will kick us back up. We've got Aflac. Um, Aflac will be reporting today. Um, this has been challenging these resistance highs up here, trying to push on through. A little bit of an upside trend, so keep an eye on that. We've got Biogen. Biogen um, will be reporting today. Um, looks like this morning we've got a little down move going on here in Biogen. So keep a close eye on that. It's been trying to lift up out of these lows. Notice this has been quite challenged here recently, but we have broken the downtrend to the upside, trying to lift back up, but um, a disappointing report could be a problem here for the chart. So watch that. How about BSX? BSX. BSX reporting today. Um, this is also one of those charts that has been pretty challenged here in a downtrend, but we have this short-term uptrend going on here as well. So this is one of those stocks, depending on how that report goes, could um, push on through that, that downtrend or really start breaking down once again. Right now you can see the pre-market candles a little bit bearish, and I can't tell you if that's the earnings results um, showing that or if um, um, just kind of responding to the uh, the market being a little bit um, uh, flat this morning. Let's take a look. Um, we have eBay. eBay will be this afternoon. Now eBay has been rallying up. Notice that we've broken this uh, downtrend, been pushing for this upside move. We're holding up in here. We're challenging um, resistance levels, trying to break through. So this will be an important important. Um, um, earnings report this afternoon. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We have Humana that will be reporting today. They've been struggling. Let's keep an eye on that. We've got Grubhub. Grubhub obviously has been one of those companies that's really benefited from um, the pandemic. And it'll be interesting to see how numbers come out on this stock today. We also have PayPal. Pretty notable today. Looks like we're perking up, trying to break out this morning on PayPal. We've got Qualcomm. Qualcomm recently has tried to rally back really strongly. Looks like it's trying to break out here this morning. And uh, Spotify. Spotify will be an interesting report today. Looks like we're getting a big old ugly bearish candle here this morning, but watch that closely. So there's a few of the stocks that um, are reporting. Make sure you check that full list if you're interested as to all of those notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, click that subscribe button and also please click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos is truly to help to eliminate the hype to eliminate the the drama of the more of the open and really focus in on those technicals and how we may want to approach for the day so I would just want to say thank you to everyone um, so much uh, for subscribing and sharing these videos out there on your show, social media feed all the kind comments you guys are awesome thank you so much Let's take a look at the stock setting up. And remember, guys, every time I post or talk about one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You should always do your own due diligence. You should never, ever follow someone else's trade idea blindly. Make sure you're doing your job as the trader when you look at these. Let's take a look. Um, NKLA. I've mentioned this the last three days, and NKLA continues to set up in this pattern. I've been watching this one pretty closely, and as you can see, running up this trend, it's quite a little bit of volatility here recently, but that's just really been a function of the overall market as well. So watching this as this kind of rests and consolidates in here to see if we can get 
that bullish move to um, move on through and extend this higher. So keep a close eye on that. I adjusted this alert just a little bit yesterday. Take a look at JIMA. Now I've mentioned this one a couple times as well. And JIMA pushed through yesterday, but caught a little bit of selling. And if you remember, I mentioned yesterday the possibility, even though this was trying to go early, to watch for that chance that this could still slide over to trend. So keep a close eye on that. This stock likes to respond off of its trend give that a few more days and see if that rests over here into that keep that on your list as a potential watch for um, that trade take a look at stx stx i think is is set uh, for a possible upside move, but we don't want to rush this because look how far away we are from this trend. Um, this was a pretty extraordinary and very volatile move that we had here on STX on its earnings report. Um, let's watch that closely. It's, it wouldn't be a big surprise if this goes early, but it also wouldn't be a big surprise if this needs a little bit more rest before it goes. So keep a close eye on STX, pretty decent looking chart, might want to have that on your list. Yesterday, um, I jumped into um, uh, MJ and I ended up get, taking a quick profit on this. You can see there is the, um, the move up and I caught in on that trade, uh, made 17.5% um, on that move yesterday and decided because I'm holding some other large positions to just close that trade. For those um, that caught into that trade, getting a beautiful follow through here this morning. So great if you held on. I just wanted to close that trade, take some profits. And I do that pretty regularly. Um, as a full-time trader, I have to make I have to make my bones um, every week and every month if I'm going to remain a full-time trader. So I need to be taking profits on a regular basis. And I just chose on that one to reduce some risk because of the volatility of the market. Take some of those, but this is still following through to the upside. And if you look at any of the other cannabis stocks out there, they're all looking pretty good right now. So keep a close eye on that move. Um, also take a look at Solo. Now Solo continues to try and set up up here notice we had a little bit of a bullish um, pop in there yesterday um, this is kind of extending out notice that we're holding on to that support level I don't know when this might go but let's keep an eye on that it may have an opportunity at any time to kind of take off to the upside and um, I, I've mentioned gold and silver the last couple reports here um, silver had a rough day yesterday uh, pulling back um, with the um, you know the s short squeeze mania kind of fading but let's keep an eye on um, silver and silver in particularly and the reason I say that is because um, electric vehicles that the culture uh, seems to be changing electric vehicles we're going to a lot more solar wind uh, with the Biden administration that's all going to take an awful lot of silver um, to um, to do that, these infrastructure changes that are coming. So keep an eye on silver. I think there's some big upside potential here eventually on silver, but there's no rush at this point. Just kind of keep an eye on it. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Keep a close eye on these resistance levels. Let's see if those bulls have the wherewithal to, to push on through. If they don't, that could embolden those bears a little bit to fight for another attack. So watch that closely and carefully. Everyone take care. Have a great day and be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning.